Dear friends and students, once again I welcome you all to our Disco Math channel. Today we are going to see a very important unit in mathematics. You may have started your algebra branch right from the very first standard, uh, first standard or sixth standard. In that we are going to see a very very important unit, algebraic expressions and the polynomial. And the, what is the relation between these two? That's what you are going to see in this uh, channels. What is an algebraic expression? Before going into the algebraic expression, knowing two things is very important. A variable and a constant. In algebra, we are all everywhere we used to use a variable. Students, even in my experience, I see that students used to get confused. What is a variable? What is a constant? Let me small give a small example. We know what is the perimeter of a square. A square having four sides equal. The perimeter of the um, uh, square is a four into side. Suppose this is A, this is A, this is A, this is A. The perimeter is A plus A plus A plus A. That is 4A. The 4 in the side. Now in a particular class, I ask the children, draw a square of 3 cm length and measure this perimeters. Count the perimeters. Calculate the perimeters. I am asking the small children in a class of 40 students. So all everybody has drawn a rectangle of 3 cm length and they measure the, all the four sides. It will come 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Finally the answer is 12. It's very simple. So 4 into 3 is equal to 12. Now my question is, I am asking next question to the children. Children, now you draw a square of your own and measure the perimeter. So, when the 40 children are there, we used to get a 40 answers. In the earlier cases, we got the same answer as 12 everywhere. All the 40 students got their answer as 12. Now, in this, I simply asked them to draw a square and find the perimeters. And I left the answer to them. When I collected the answers, all the 40 answers are different, different, different. Some is having only 4, some is 8. Some is 12, whatever it may be. And each and every one have the different different perimeters. Why it is so? The perimeter is same. There is no change in the formula. You already studied in geometry. 4 into side will give you the perimeter of the square. Now here, the side, when I ask them to draw a square of 3 cm, everybody has drawn 3 cm. And 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, that is a 4, 3 into 3, that is 12. Now I ask them to draw a square and measure it. They are getting different, different answers. Why? Because the side is varying now. All the 40 children have taken their own side. Somebody might have taken 1 centimeter, somebody 2, somebody 1.5. Somebody 3, somebody 5, somebody 10, like that it went on. So when they are measuring the perimeter, the perimeter differs. So why it is differing? Because of this variable. And that because of that changes, changes in the side, changes in the measurement of the side, and changes the answer. And that was the perimeter entirely depend on this, not 4. 4 is fixed. And this side. This changing thing is known as a variable. Another example let me give. I sent some uh, few children, namely some, some 10 children, to a very famous hotel. It, the hotel is very famous for dosa. And the dosa is a fixed const, um, price. For example, you said 20 rupees per dosa. I sent 10 students on different different days. They went to the hotel and they have to take only one dosa, that's all. Nothing other than that. 
and they would pay and come. So they went there, they ordered for one dosa, the servant came, went and came, gave the dosa to them, they ate, they found it very tasty. So before uh, leaving the hotel, they used to give 5 rupees to the server as a tips. Okay, instead of 20 rupees, he gave 25 rupees. Another fellow, he went and he was also so satisfied. Instead of 5 rupees tips, he gave 10 rupees tips. So 20, 20 plus 10, 30 rupees he gave. The first two fellow, he gave 25 rupees. 20 plus 5. The 20 rupees is the fixed constant of the price of the dosa. But the tips varies. Plus tips. The 10 students whom I sent, um, they, they are visiting the hotel, they are giving different, different tips. And the, the final amount what they pay differs. It is not exactly 20. It may be 21 or it may be 24, it may be 27 or it may be 28, it may be 20, 25 or it may be 30. So different, different uh, students pay different, different tips. Cost of the dosa is same. So here, this tips what the individual they are giving it differs and that tips that changing value is known as a variable this here in algebra this variable and constant plays a vital role and this 20 is constant it's a constant there's no change in that the cost of the dosa is 20 rupees only so this is a constant this is variable Similarly, this is constant and this is variable. Hope it is very clear now. What is a constant and what is variable? Now, what is an algebraic expression? Algebraic expression is a combined expressions of constant and variables. If variables and constant, if they are connected by the four fundamental operations, plus, minus, divisions, into. Any constant and uh, alphabets or variables are connected with this operation, that expression is known as an algebraic expression. For example, simple example x plus 5 x is a variable I know I don't know what is the value x may be 1 also x also 0 also it can be anything it is is a variable it's a constant this two are connected by the fundamental operation plus so x plus 5 is an algebraic expression another example x y or you can simply you can take 5x 5x is an also an expression. Why? 5 is a constant and x is a variable. 5 into x is connected, 5 and x is connected by into multiplication sign. It is connected by multiplication, fundamental operations. And this is an expression. This is an algebraic expression. Why we are writing 5x? Why we are not writing 5 into x? See, sometimes uh, there is a misconception among the children, this simple and this simple is same. So, because of that only, the math mathematician they put this as multiplication as dot, 5 dot x. Again, it gives confusions and the dot may be a decimal dot, 10.5, for that also we are putting decimal. So, the children should not have the misconception that this is a decimal. So, mathematicians they simplify this as 5 into x. So, all the three are same. This, this, this one and the same. 5 into x, 5 dot x also 5 into x, 5 x also 5 into x. So, this is a simple notation for the convenience sake. They made it like this. So, this is algebraic expression. 
Why? Because these two terms are connected, constant and a variable is connected, and this also connected this. So 5x plus y plus 3x square minus 5, for example. This is also an algebraic expression. Why? 5x, 5 into x, 5 into x can be written as 5x. Y is another one, 3x square is another one, and uh, minus 5 is another one. These are connected by plus, plus, minus, and here also is into this. And this can be written as divided by x also it is. So, if the constant and variables, a constant and variables, if they are connected by the four fundamental operations, then that expression is an algebraic expression. Here, you have to very clearly you have to note that four fundamental operations. When we are coming to polynomial, we will restrict this. What we are going to restrict, we will see later. So, now let us come. So let me repeat once again, an algebraic expression is an expression in which a constant and variables are connected by four fundamental operations. Now what is the term of the expressions? For example, x plus 5, we can take in this. Here there are two things, x and plus 5. F5 is added with this. This x is known as a one term and plus 5 is known as another term. The term should be considered along with the operation in front of that. See for example, x minus 5. One term is this, another term is minus 5, not 5. Here also 5, here also 5, here also x, here also x. So, the term should be considered along with the fundamental operation which is just in front of that, but not into, only plus or minus. And uh, 3x square plus y minus 7x plus 5 by x. 3x square is one term, plus y is another term, minus 7x is another term. Here 7x, the operation into is there, but we are considering this as the one term. Whenever we are considering the terms, terms should be um, uh, separated by plus and minus sign only. And this is four terms are there. So these are the known as the terms. Now what is the coefficient? Seven x y is only one term. Seven is a um, uh, uh, constant. X is a variable. Y is a variable. So here seven is the numeric. See this. There are three seven. Three factors are there. Seven is a factor. X is a factor. Y is a factor. This in this expression, in this algebraic expressions, there are three factors are there: seven, x, and y. Now, the each is a coefficient of other variables. See, for example, what is the coefficient of y? Coefficient of y means leaving that y. What is the left out this, and that you have to take it out. If only the coefficient. If the numerical coefficients, it's only 7. Numerical coefficient is only 7. Generally, if the coefficient we mean the numerical coefficient. But in this problem, if you are asking what is the coefficient of y, 7 x is a coefficient. What is the coefficient of x, y? It is only 7. What is the coefficient if the question is asked? Leaving that, what is left out in this? 
particular term, the remaining is known as the coefficient. Coefficient is left out portions. Minus 2x. What is the coefficient of x? Don't think that it is only 2 is a coefficient. No. The coefficient should be considered along with the sign. Minus 2 is a coefficient of x. So, the, new, the coefficients are of two types. One is the numerical coefficients, another is the algebraic coefficients. That we be explained already. Now, let us come to what are the, in the terms, of course, we know the terms are separated by plus and minus sign only. Terms are not separated by multiplication and divisions. Though these four operations consisting this algebraic expressions. Okay. Now, 7 plus 3x minus 7y plus 8x. How many terms are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 terms are there. If you carefully observe, there is a relation between these terms. For example, take 3x and 8x. The algebraic coefficient, the algebraic variable remains same with the powers. Same power, power should be same. Suppose if it is 2, they are not like. There are no 2. Only x and here also x. Two terms are said to be like if their algebraic factors are same. See, 8x square, we are writing the factors as 8x and x square. And this algebraic factors should be same in a particular um, uh, expressions. Suppose if it is 3xy minus 8 plus 7xy. See here, this algebraic factors, algebraic factors are x and y. These are numerical factors. Here algebraic expressions, factors are x, y. This two term consists of same type of algebraic factors and hence they are like terms. As I already told you that term should be considered along with the sign. What is the sign, say, a sign which is in front of that? Either plus or minus. Okay. And uh, well, this is very, very important. Like and unlike term. When, when we are coming to the algebra of algebraic expressions, what is algebra of algebraic expressions? How to add, how to subtract, how to divide, how to multiply. When we, at that time, we used to tell that in additions, in adding to algebraic expressions, only like term can be added, unlike term cannot be added. So, understanding the concept of like term and unlike term is very, very important. So, my dear children, it's a very simple uh, things we gave. Uh, like terms are those terms which are having the same algebraic factors. If the algebraic factors are not same, they are known as unlike terms. In the next um, uh, videos, we will be seeing the types of polynomials. Then we will go to the polynomials. What are the types of algebraic expressions? We will see that. Then we will go to the polynomials in the next one. If you like this video, Please uh, subscribe and share this. Thank you very much.